Well, today I'm going to explain how to do a fuel cutoff switch. Now, I have been debating on whether doing an ignition cutoff switch, fuel cutoff switch, or a battery cutoff switch. The problem with a battery cutoff switch is there's really no problem with it. It's just that having to get under the hood every time you want to park it, that way no one steals the damn thing. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, I guess you can run it to the inside. Sorry, my flashlight's freaking out. If you wanted to run it to the inside, I mean, that's a lot of cable. And I really didn't want to deal with that. And then ignition, you know, I really didn't want to deal with that. So I decided to just do a fuel cutoff switch and debating where I wanted to do it. And I found that the easiest... Hold on a second, let me get under here. Right up. Oh, let me, let me get my flashlight really quick so right there is the inertia switch that shuts off the gas okay what happens is that little red that little red tab you see it up there in the corner that pops up when it's hit and this one did trip a lot didn't really care for it uh so what i did is i took the wiring harness out of it cut the wires Splice them together right there, as you can see. Ran them up. Ran them up right through there and up to a cutoff switch right there. Now, I really didn't want to hide it and because, I mean, living out in the country, no one really comes up here and tries to steal shit. And I really didn't want to put it down below here somewhere because I didn't want to accidentally kick it and shop the fuel. That is the easiest. It's just a two wire. Just cut the two wires back here, wire it up, put it up here. With the switch off, the fuel pumps won't turn on. Your truck will start. It'll only run for about five, ten seconds, shut off. When you then when you turn it on, turn the key, and you can hear the fuel pumps turn on. But let me give you a demonstration really quick. Really quick, hasn't been started in a few days. It's been raining really heavy. So, just listen if you can hear it. That's the heater. Now it's off. Okay, it's not wanting to start, but oh well. Turn the key off. Switch on. There's the fuel pump. And boom, starts. That simple. And it works. So, yep, that's the best thing to do.